Hey guys, Nina here, welcoming you to another reading from the Ladies of Horror Picture Prompt Monthly Challenge, hosted by Elaine Pascal on her channel, The Godmother of Horror. If you'd like to read along or read previously published pieces, please visit spreadingtherightersword.com or ladiesofhorror.com. In the meanwhile, enjoy the reading. What They Leave Behind by Melissa R. Mendelssohn I almost missed it, that look in his eyes. After all of them, I knew to be aware of it, but I missed it with him. He was so good that he had me fooled. Then he wrapped his arm around my shoulders as we sat on the couch, telling my parents the great news. And I looked into his eyes. There it was, because he dropped his guard and I fell into his gaze. I promised myself so many damn times that I would never ever find myself in this place again. The darkened woods with that creature circling overhead. With each of them that creature grew and they never met each other, but they sensed one another and they wanted a piece of me too. Now I was running as the creature drew closer, but it already had me. I saw its marks on my arms, quietly feeding on me, smiling because I had no idea that it was there. I thought I was careful. I thought it was more than enough time, years where I had sentenced myself to be alone to recover, pick up the pieces that they left behind, and manage the damage as best as I could. But it didn't matter. The creature cried a happy cry because it found me again and part of me wanted to surrender. I was so tired of being careful. I was so tired of wasting my life, watching out for them and turning what could have been the right ones away. I just don't trust people. But there are good ones out there, right? Why can't they find me? Something scared the creature off. I wasn't alone. I needed to pull away from his gaze, return to my parents, and call it off, save myself if it wasn't too late. Something moved in the darkened woods. It looked human, stepping closer, and I saw me. She mirrored the darkened woods. Her gaze made me cringe. Then she focused on his eyes, still looking into mine. It was the way back. She moved fast and I realized that if I didn't hurry after her, I was going to be left here. I grabbed hold of her, but the touch of her cut right through me. It was as if she were that pain that I had felt from them. And she smiled. She smiled, their smile. No, I screamed, but she was gone. So was the creature at least for now, but it would soon realize that it was me here, not her. It would come back, but that wasn't the worst thing. No, the worst thing was him. Or was it me?